Okay, so this is asking us to use our calculator to work out the value of this and then round our answer to so many significant figures. Well, lots of different calculators out there. If you're lucky enough to have uh, one of the modern calculators with a fraction key that puts that on your screen, then you can literally press your fraction key and put in exactly what you see in the top part and what exactly what you see on the bottom part in each of these, press equals, job done. Um, I'm going to show you with the kind of calculator that doesn't have that special button but still has um, the ability to do it just by following some simple rules for bid mass. So bid mass says um, technically the divide would be fairly high up the list, would be done first. So we've got to be careful here. So the best way to do this is to do the top part of this fraction. So we find our cube root key. Um, which are these calculators in orange? So it's second function cube root um, 67, press equals, take away bracket 3.2, press our squared key, take away 20, close our bracket, equals. So the top part of our fraction is 13.8215481. Always write down parts of the question that you do because it's method, just in case um, you press something wrong at the end, at least you get a method mark. I'm going to leave that in there, of course, because I can now press divide, because that symbol does mean divide. So I can press divide and do the bottom as it's written. So bracket. Now sometimes this bracket's not given to you, but literally just imagine the bracket goes in, and that makes the question easier for you. And in essence, if you're using this type of calculator, you do need to use the bracket on the bottom anyway. So 65.1 times 23.2 negative. So the negative key on here is the plus or minus key. Sometimes you've got a symbol that looks like a minus sign, so you press that, and then the 23.2. Close the bracket equals. Okay, so the final answer here was negative, really important, there's a negative sign there, 0 0.00915 Now, just going to do that bottom part again, so 65.1 times 23.2 negative equals, so that gave me negative 1510.32. I can do my double check here by just then doing 13.821581. Divide by 1510.32 negative equals so negative 0.915 blah blah blah. So just to double check there, I then remember that the question wanted the answer to three significant figures. So I then count my first non-zero digit. So there's my first non-zero digit. So that's going to be my first significant figure. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So I'm going to cut the number there. That will give me three significant figures. One, two, three. So it's going to be negative 0 0.00915, okay, because that does not change the 5, it's less than 5 itself, so that means that stays the same. Three significant figures is not three digits after the decimal point, that's three decimal places. Find your first significant figure by the first non-zero digit, count from there however you need. You need three significant figures, so one, two, three. That's how we can use our calculator and significant figures.